Well, excitement here in the commentary box uh, from Greg Searles. We've got Hampton School on the start line here on the far side in the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. And Abingdon School on the near side on the Buckinghamshire Station in that bright pink uh, sort of famous strip that they've got. Great start here for Hampton School, Greg. Yeah, Hampton School got away quite smoothly. Abingdon just looked like the blades moved more than the boat did on that first stroke of the getaway. As we see a warning coming in from Fiona Dennis straight away. Abingdon, you can see that trail of water that we talked about. It's going to have an S shape in it as Abingdon came away from the island. But it hasn't stopped their progress. They look like they're there with Hampton. But Hampton School, as you say, my old school, have got that lead of, what is that, about a quarter of a length right now as we're going towards at the top of the island. Yeah, and uh, both of these schools a big amount of pedigree in this Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup and uh, you yourself know Greg having um, sort of competed and won with uh, Hampton School uh, a few years ago. Uh, Abingdon School within the last kind of two decades have won multiple Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup so um, again I think just to reiterate the quality in this event of the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup this year to see these two face up against each other on day one is quite something. Yeah, Abingdon and Hampton here racing on day one. Hampton looking like they're in a great position here. They've been working with Ben Lewis, um, who's come in to coach them in the last few weeks, almost in that sort of finishing coach role. And I'm sure he will have brought some confidence to the crew to help them have the belief that they need here. You can see they're not the biggest crew, but they're rowing pretty cleanly, pretty tidily here through the halfway. And they'll be pleased to see the progress they're continuing to make with this good lead they've got now over Abingdon, who they've had closer races with earlier in the season. So they're going to think maybe we're coming right. Maybe Henley's going to be our time. Yeah, that's a sizable lead that they built up in those early stages. And we're jumping now to the live shots here. And um, you talked about Ben Lewis coaching this crew from Hampton. It might be worth sort of talking about his history with the regatta and, and his pedigree coming into to sort of, as you say, doing the finishing touches to this crew. Um, he's won Henley Royal Regatta with Thames multiple times. Yeah, his history with Thames Rowing Club is absolutely fantastic. Brought them to a position where, if I'm remembering rightly, we had the final of the Thames Cup between Thames A and Thames B. Um, that wonderful Cox was four back in 2016, um, coming, rowing people to a standstill and getting across the line. And we see just what he might be able to bring to uh, a crew like this Hampton one, um, giving them the, uh, the belief, giving them that, those extra little bits of help. Colin Greenaway has run at the program at the school for a good number of years. So the, the, the pathway should be in place. And now we're seeing them hopefully being able to race at the highest level. Yeah, rowing out of the Millennium Boathouse uh, down near Molesey on that sort of stretch of water on the Thames. Abingdon from the Oxfordshire area here. Um, a long history of rowing at the school. They've been doing it since 1830. Yeah, plenty of history in the Abingdon crew and pre plenty of pedigree, as you've already said here. We've got Eddie Bayfield in the sixth street, six seat, Callum Forrest in the seventh seat. They're both Great Britain team trialists. They'll race here, they'll be going on to the GB trials, try and secure a place uh, to go on to the World Championships or the Coupe de la Jeunesse. Yeah, and uh, again, you know, they've all got um, a, a couple of Henleys under their belt in this crew. Tristan Moore in the five seat, who stands at six foot five inches tall. That's uh, a good amount of levers to have for rowing in that Abingdon crew. But jumping now to the Hampton crew, uh, who we're looking at now, they look so relaxed and uh, just starting to put on a bit of a show in front of the crowds. Yeah, Toby Gwynn's back there, we can see, in the bow seat. He used to be a ski racer, but he broke his leg badly back four years ago. Found rowing, and here he is now racing at this Henley course. I think it's probably more like 10 strokes from the progress board to the finish, which they've now got to complete. I'll, uh, I'll be counting from the next race, Greg. So uh, they're into those final 10 strokes here. Hampton School on this iconic course in Henley-on-Thames. And uh, looks like lots of progress made here by Hampton School in the last few months. And maybe some surprises to come in this Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. Who knows? Abingdon School, uh, unfortunately for them, it won't be the glory days of 2012, 2013. Uh, but here in 2023, beaten out by Hampton School in this first round of the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup.